What's going on guys? Today I will be showing a quick little tutorial on how to build stages in Pro Cycling Manager 2017. I was getting a lot of requests in this in the PCM World Discord to be able to show a video as to how to import GPX files and the like so that you can make realistic stages. So today we're just going to create a fantasy stage. Uh, all the links you'll need will be in the description to be able to make it. And yeah, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna make this route in France, as one of the big problems with the game you'll find is dem files. It's why the World Championships, uh, the current ones that are in Norway, can't be made super realistic because there's no dem files, uh, which is basically the terrain files. So yeah, but we'll make do. We'll make it in France as we have the right dem files. To create one, I will also show some blank ZCTS files that for new builders or new stage makers you should definitely check out. They show how to do it. Uh, they basically have all the routes, everything built out, and you can just basically add your custom route to it, build your cities, build your forests, whatever you want around it. Yeah, let's start off. Uh, start off in the on. Yeah, so Strava, definitely recommend it as this is the program that can uh, allow you to export as a GPX. You don't need to buy anything on Strava um, to be able to use this feature. Um, and yeah, I apologize if you hear a dog in the background. <laughs> so now we just got to go along, plop our roots. I'll try and do it pretty quickly and just let the thing decide it itself. I'll also just change to kilometers, that's what I use as I'm Australian. Looks good, we've got a nice little climb at the end. Might just make it go up a bit more. Yeah, and then uh, we'll make it make it go over here. We probably won't make all of this though. But yeah, uh, this will be good. You have one climb, a shortish climb, then you have a second bigger one, and then a little bit of a downhill to the finish, and it kicks up a bit for the finish. Okay, so once you've finished that, and you've got your route made, so it starts in Leon and ends in I don't know where this is, Quintal. We can just make a root name. Click save. Then once we get it, we click view my root. Export GPX file. And I'll just put it on my desktop for easy access. And now to open the stage editor, what you need to do, if you don't already have it, is to click Tools, and then you should find it. It's pretty much everything is here. The tools on Steam for different modding things, dedicated servers, etc, etc. So yeah, download the Pro Cycling Manager one, then it, you won't be able to see it under Games. You go Installed, and it shows everything that you've installed. And then go this, Play, and then there's the shitty database editor. Um, I will show maybe in a later tutorial on how to use the PCM fast editor or the Excel editor. As both of them are very, very good compared to the database editor, which only allows you to edit writer stats, I believe. I haven't even used it in ages, so I'm not sure if they've updated it. Okay, so now we're in this. It looks very confusing at first glance, but yeah. Uh, file new. We can start the thing. Let's just go onto our desktop and find this GPX. Okay, so basically what the GPX file does, it puts a trail around, um, it'll put a trail later on, but what it initially does is it tells the stage editor where to find the uh, dem file. So then the dem file can load so that you have the real route. So now we will just add this in. I'm just going to leave the region default as I have no idea what the regions of France and all that are. It doesn't really matter as long as you have the right country. 
city kit and region you can change, but I usually just leave it on Alps, especially if you're making a mountain stage. Unless it's something more dry, like the stage you actually saw yesterday in the tour. Yeah, okay. So now, depending on how good your PC is, it will just take a little while to load. And it's just loading up the dem file now. Long, awkward silence while we wait. Oh, we got it. Okay, so now it's just loaded in our full terrain we're going to build. You obviously can't see a trail or a route yet. You have to also zoom in a little bit to fully render. Um, so your controls to move around, like I can't really tell you what they are, but you just need to play around because some of them are very weird, like Q to go left, D to go right. Um, one important thing that I will say for new like stage makers, this camera option if you find you're too zoomed in and it won't allow you to like move around or anything and you get stuck click reset camera and it puts you back here it saves a lot of time because i used to l just save it and reopen it but yeah now i found that um you can also change your camera speeds so that you can go like super fast everywhere but yeah i recommend putting on like 40 you can move relatively quick Everything, middle, mouse down to move, pivot, you know, normal stuff. But anyway, top view. This is what you will spend the majority of your time building the actual stage in. So now we're going to click here on top view. We're going to load the exact same GPX file that we made. And there we go. We can see it now. So if we just want to zoom in a bit, you can also tilt the alpha if you want to just be able to see the root but I usually keep it about halfway on default uh, so now we're going to start with the roads you've obviously got road button here you've got the road button also over here to add a road but and there's also a shortcut yeah I just click from here from the toolbox you can zoom in pretty easily here and then just right click and place a road like so. Um, now stuff like this, you will find you will, you'll end up just like skipping little stuff like this. It's not super important. But yeah. Um, looks like we have some intersections early, so I will show you how to do that. You basically just click off this bit here with the left click, then right click on another point, and drag it in there. And then when it does this, you can then just click down here and do it and then there's your intersection um i'll just drag this one down this yellow thing here points the way that you want to build so if you want to actually build it back there then you need to click it there and then if you want it to go there there you get the point um this stuff usually you just use the blue one because it's like fully able to move but you can also use red if you just want to move it on the axis um, what is happening? And green obviously moves it down. There's also another one, but that's for like side angles when you're in 3D. Um, but yeah, so I will also just quickly show this is the road toolbar thing. You can change your uh, width of the road, except for at the moment we have spline on. This thing's your main thing that you will learn to hate while building stages, spline how like dodgy the system is but yeah basically once you click off it on one thing it'll tick it off all of them and it means that you can change them individually but if as soon as you click on it back then it goes back for all of it so then if you change this one then that one goes down so it's a bit annoying but yeah i would leave it at three for now because we're building like we're not going into the mountains yet um you've also got this kind of stuff which is your road Road 07 is your cobblestone, 8 and 9 are like your gravel. Um, there's some dust color, you don't really need that unless you're making gravel. There's special dust, the blend. There's marks which show like the markings on the road, if you can see that. Um, I see a lot of people forget those when they make stages. Um, but yeah, you can just play around with that and you'll find out what suits you best what you're doing 
Um, there's also, if I wanted to, I could make a roundabout here, but I usually don't make many roundabouts in my stages because it often then, uh, when you come to export and we'll click check stage, uh, it'll say that there's an error even when you perfectly like have it set up. You also have trees, but these are pretty useless. They basically just put a tree around the side of the roads, but you can also do them. And I have no idea what these do. I believe they just change the actual coloring on this bit thing. So yeah, uh, we will continue on just making our route. We'll just come to here. We'll make another intersection. We'll just, this thing as well, you saw me click on it before, check stage. Obviously these four errors, these ones are perfectly fine for right now. But uh, you want to check for stuff like road overlaps, bad route slopes, etc, etc. Um, you'll start seeing them. I'll try and cover them later on in this video. Make another quick intersection. We'll actually link it up with this one. Actually, no, we'll undo that. I'm going to leave in the boring bits of this video, just that if you guys are doing it as well, but obviously skip forward if you're going to just watch this and then go and make your own. But yeah, so sorry if that, you don't like that style, but I'm doing it. Okay, so let's go back to putting this, we won't put an intersection there. There's a bit of a hairpin with these, because the the roots so small you can't really follow them exactly so we just tend stage makers just tend to like make we'll go here we'll go here and then we'll go there and then always when you make hairpins you got to check for this okay so first off we have this little glitch or error this basically just means it's too close but we just fixed it there road overlap uh, yeah, so we'll just pull this back. These basically just change the angle of the curve that goes into the road. Um, usually you'll find that you'll have most of your errors in the hairpins. Um, it's unfortunate that there's not a better system, but yeah, then you have to go through and fix them. So, okay, continuing along. We'll make another quick intersection just here. Might even make one just here. There's a roundabout here, so this is where I'll put a roundabout in. You'll be able to see the roundabout markings by the little dink in the road. So we'll just put a roundabout there. Enable. Ooh. Um, there's a lot of roundabouts, so I'll skip a few of them. Um, There's also a big roundabout up there I can see. I believe it's a roundabout at least. You can change the width of the roundabout. And that doesn't actually change the width of um, the roundabout itself. It just changes the width. Well, it does a little bit, but it mainly changes the width of the centerpiece. So we'll just put two there. So it's a tiny centerpiece. Now we're going to put spline off, go to four, and we'll put a road there. And we'll make it go back up to four and enable a very large roundabout intersection with only two ways. Oh, 
This is easily fixed. You just drag another road from it. And that's it. Okay. We won't make it that small. We'll just make it like that. Okay, yeah, perfect. Uh, continuing along. I cannot edit really fast, so I'll just make... I'll just go as fast as I can now, so that I don't have to edit it later. Oh, that's the auto save. So that should auto save, I believe, in the in the same folder as your GPX. But I wouldn't rely on it as uh some of the later stuff that we'll do, like making um like making a what do you call it city. Uh, it won't always save the built city, so don't rely on auto saves unless you want to be deeply. Deeply sorry you didn't save it. Ironic because I haven't saved it yet, but yeah. Um, do enable that. Okay, we're starting to come to the mountains now, so if you were starting to skip, watch now. So show. Basically, stuff like this, you can't you can't actually get that kind of detail in to the stage editor. So just oh, what's the hold up? Where's oh here we are. Yeah. So you can't really get this much depth in in it. And you'll probably also end up with a lot of road overlaps. I haven't got one there somehow. Yeah. Um, I'm not complaining. Uh, so just stuff like that. Just trying to keep the actual shape of the roads going in a hairpin there. Whilst not actually making the exact hairpin. Once again, the oh, that's a tunnel, I believe, that the game is building there. Is it, or is it just okay? It's just double checking that we weren't getting tunnels because you'll see them. They're usually a bit different looking. They're quite easy to spot. Okay, so this is when the mountain really kicks up. So, so as you can see, we haven't got any issues there, but we've still managed to get the incline, or the main incline at least. So now we follow along here. That's probably going to be an error later when we develop the route, but we'll go with it for now. And solve it when that happens. Oh, my dog is going berserk in the background. Okay. Yeah, main thing you just want to do is keep the hairpins in whilst trying to limit the amount of road overlaps you get. Um, and obviously you don't want to make your intersections too close to each other because then you will get a lot more road overlaps and a lot more of that kind of stuff. Um, to just speeding along here. We'll zoom out a bit. I think I'll just cut the stage once I get to up here. This is all in Void 2, by the way, which is what I suggest uh, when you're making these kind of mountains. 
Obviously, if you want to make those shorter hills and see it in, say, Liege, best on Liege, or something like that, then go for it and make the really long ones. Don't know what happened there. Okay. I think that should be okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I think that's enough. We've got the second bit. I'll just make it go down a bit so that we have some runoff that you'll see later. Okay, so stop pausing now and stop, I mean stop skipping now so you can come watch. Okay, so the route started here initially and so yeah. Uh, this thing now is adding the checkpoints which is what you need. Uh, you'll see how you need to go through with checkpoints, checkpoint by checkpoint. Did we go up here? No, we didn't. We went here. Yeah, we'll go down there. Um, you can also skip ones, but make sure you're clicking on the intersection ones um, because you always need them. Uh, Okay, now when we get to this bit, we can just basically skip pretty far along. Uh, you'll also see a difference. The flags are a bit different. They're triangles where you clicked on and the ones that it skipped will be squares. You don't really need to worry about that though. And yeah, okay. We got a hell of a lot of bad root slopes. Okay, that was more than I expected. Um, this basically, oh god. Uh, yeah, I can see there's a bit of a problem there. Uh, I'm just going to let you guys skip forward if you want to. Uh, but I'm going to try and have to go through all of these. You can usually fix what it, it does show a lot, but don't be alarmed. I might actually just make that go up there. Don't be alarmed if it shows a lot of them, because quite often it shows a lot, but there's like five to ten errors for the same one. Why isn't this letting me grab it? Oh, why can I not? touch anything. We'll delete that point actually. Yeah, see we removed 20 errors there. Basically, just trying to lengthen this all the way out. But we're kind of glitching out. Okay, we've fucked with the terrain now as well. That's always nice. Um. um that's still not going to work. Might actually just have to use this. Oh, I won't let me click. Thirty seven errors. Okay, now we got one here, which is different entirely.
go. Okay, we've got another one here. So we'll just flatten. It's not going to work. That could work. Oh, not that. Okay, we've only got 20 now. Um, no, I don't think we can. Okay, there's another auto save. Holy hell. Um, this is one of the problems with stage editing that you can't get like a root kind of overlay while you're actually making it. So then you have tons of errors to fix. Um, we might actually just drag one out. There. What is it doing? You say, oh, it's doing this. Why? Why don't you allow me? Could work. Hey, we did it. Okay. So stop skipping stuff if you're wanting to watch. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to just add the basic route. Um, what is it doing? Okay. Uh, so you navigate back to your start. You can follow the green trail. To see that, uh, we're just going to make a basic road race for this first one, um, but I'll show you how later on you can turn into TTs, team time trials, etc, etc. Um, route, sprint, we're going to start, you can click on different things if you want to make Vuelta variants, blah blah blah. Um, okay, add. Now, it needs to be a certain length from the start, otherwise you'll see just here the impossible to add object. Um, but we're going to start there, we'll just type in depart. Um, I'm just making that so that you can't, when you load in, you can't see behind it. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to race to we'll put an intermediate sprint here. Uh, what will it be? I'll just show you the profile though first so that you can see. Um, you can also edit some of these so that you can change like the max height, but that's, pr so that's a pretty hard mountain. I'm surprised it actually allowed in the game. It does have that little dint at the top though as well, which will be cool to see in game. Um, okay, sprint flat. So you just got to add one of these just somewhere. We'll make it just there. Even though that is very early for an intermediate sprint. Uh, this is for when you're making a time trial uh, to make intermediate sprints, but the time check version. Um, yeah. That's all you need to know about that. We might actually delete that. Even though that isn't, this isn't a serious stage. Um, 
I'm probably actually going to use this as a National Champs variant for you guys to try out. Um, sprint flat. Uh, sprint. Yeah. Uh, you'll also see like the stuff like uh, plotted along where it shows the uh, like the one kilometer to go and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay. We won't add a mountain sprint just there. We'll add one here. Um, sprint mountain. We'll add it just here. Um, get a cat one. Coat. I don't know. I'll just call it Mountain One. Um, original. I know. Uh, okay. You can also add another intermediate sprint or whatever, but I'm not going to. Then we will add the finish line just here. Uh, so we'll make a finish mountain, um, which basically allows you to give out mountain points for it as well. So I'll make it a cat one as well. Uh, finish, because I don't know the exact way and how hard it is. Um, one thing that you do need to do, though, if you have this in... I can't remember it exactly, that, but there's something you need to do uh, to select, but I believe it auto-assigns select the last mountain. Um, I believe it changes the AI behavior and stuff like that. Uh, on it, but yeah. Okay, so we've made basically the route that we want. Um, that's all done, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do the rest of the stuff uh, that you see in this toolbar. Uh, first things first though, we will check the stage. Okay, podium not placed on landscape. If you literally just want the bare bones so you can play it now, you need to click podium. And go select and then right click and it'll come up with this. Then you'll see it over in the distance. Um, you can either leave it there, but if you really want to move it, uh, you can click restrict position and then you can move it. Um, but yeah, we'll just move it there. Okay, well, done. Now, what we will do is create, I'll just show you the terraforming tools. Uh, this is to basically rise the terrain, raise the terrain rather. Um, you can change all this, it's pretty self-explanatory. Not sure what the difference between outside radius and inside is. I believe inside's like more in the middle though. Um, like if you put on max, it raises the middle up more, but yeah. Um, as you can see, uh, you can also put negative numbers, so there's no separate tool for lowering it. Um, but yeah. Uh, then we have terrain smooth, which basically just models the terrain to where the original point is that you clicked on. It's pretty slow though. Um. This is Terrain Flatten, which basically just does it in a massive area. Yeah, uh, it doesn't reapply the kind of stuff until a bit later, and it kind of like flickers. But it'll do it in game, I believe, so you will be fine. Terrain Pelt, uh, you really need a mountain to kind of show it on, but it basically just shifts the focus, like of the mountain, um, but it doesn't really do much. Uh, road we've shown, river, um, let's just put a river beside the start, um, what can I say, really, it's just a plain old river, uh, yeah, try and make sure you can't see start and ends of stuff, I see that with new stage makers, 
a lot. They'll put like they would have finished the river there, and then when you spawned in the background, you would have been able to see it. Uh, water. What we will need to do to show that is uh, this, then negative thirty, then just make a little hole in the ground. This is how you make um when you load a dem file. This is how you make your uh. Ocean, the dem files don't load in oceans. So, there you go. That's how you make water. Um, you can also like change if the shoreline, but doesn't really do much. I think that's more when, if you put a city there. Um, you can also change if it's like the texture of it, what kind of thing it looks like. But yeah, uh, that's that. City. Um, so this is what you pick your city kits for. Um, try and keep your cities as small but as effective, I guess, as you can. Um, I'm going to make quite a large one, but if you don't have a beefy PC, do not attempt to create a large one. Um, I won't do it now, I'll do it at the end of the video. Uh, but then you click rebuild all cities, or you can build them one by one, and it'll put like tons of city stuff there. Um, we'll create medium city just here, and yeah, um, we'll create a little large bit just over here. That's going to take a fair while to render though. Uh, but yeah, now this is like individual objects kind of things. I haven't really learnt. Oh no, this is wall house, my bad. Um, okay, how to show wall house. This is easy to show off. Um, you probably want a more flat section though. Yeah, that's wall house. Um, you know what it looks like in PCM if you've been playing it. Uh, you know what most of these stuff looks like. It's very repetitive what you see in PCM anyway. So yeah. Um, let's just make this is a field here. Um, so it's like your coloured kind of grass and that kind of stuff. You can play around with it a bit here. Um, you don't really have much choice, though, in terms of what to do with the field. Um, I might just drag the field here. And then make another field from the other side. Actually, we'll make it, this is the forest tool. Um, I encourage you to put the forest as much around your, like, bare areas as you can. So like, as you can see, I'm kind of weaving it around here. Um, and then obviously you have this kind of stuff. You have a lot more options though with these. Um, some don't work though, unless you like zoom in a lot. Uh, we'll just put forest at one. Yeah, there you go. There's a forest on the other side. Um, Spawn isolated objects. This is like the individual stuff. Uh, there's also monuments that I should have shown earlier, but that's your stuff like your Chandelier and stuff like that. There's some more here though. Um, what if I just put in. I'm still not. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's put in this car like there. I believe cars, they actually auto assign to roads. I'm just going to reset the camera real quick. Um, yeah, I believe they auto assign to the closest road that you put them near. Oh no, they don't. Yeah. Um, you don't really have much options though to change it. Uh, one thing, if you want to rotate, there's not really much you can do apart from click on that. And yeah. Um, we'll put it there. Parked up. Okay. Uh, 
this kind of stuff is pretty the fence stuff you don't really need uh what you can do is if you click oh there's the choose lost summit thing that i wanted um now i can't even find it this is great borders that's it generate um it'll take two seconds but that basically adds in uh, a bunch of like cars around your spectators your border kind of like things at intersections um so the riders can't say you went the wrong way it adds the special like fancy borders for the last three kilometers that kind of stuff um but yeah that's what all of these do as well he can like customize them um if you want you can also change uh border parameters you can change what they're like so the exclusive kit um there's also a way to change the spectators but i can't remember audience parameters um 20 but yeah so you can change it and you can change what it's like if there's bad weather so if it's raining then what it's like um and if there's more people out whatever uh but yeah i'm just going to quickly add a big forest around here it's going to take a while to load um we'll add another one there low altitude though Obviously, I'm kind of skipping through here, though, pretty quickly, just trying to get to a position where I can show you guys what it looks like. At the end. So, you wouldn't do this if you're making a proper stage. Uh, I will just put a field around here at the bottom of the climb. And then we'll put one more around here. Oh, that's not worked. Um, if it has this like gray kind of bit in, it kind of glitches out and doesn't allow it to make itself. So yeah, um, we will just stretch it across to here. Oh, that was too far apparently. There we go. Um, and yeah, we'll put another just river just along here. Just to excite and you make things exciting. Holy, that's a big gap in the earth that's made. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've seen it, how all the tools work now. Uh, so top view, we've went through before. Profile view, I haven't really done in. Uh, when you instantly come in, though, it'll be super zoomed in. If you have a hyper scroll wheel, just zoom out as soon as possible. It's also got your markers for like where everything is. Um, so your cat one, your finish, just so that you can double check everything lines up you sprint okay so first we're gonna save we probably should have done this earlier um test uh okay so now there's export um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna load up my pcm folder on another monitor Um, CM stages is the folder that you want. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste what that is, and then go export. Oh, we got some road over. Oh, river overlaps. Haven't had them before. Oh, yeah, stages ready to export. Oh, geez, that's a bit of a cliff hanger, literally. Um. 
Yeah. Okay. Export. We're gonna paste in my thing. Then we're gonna search for NAT dash FRA, which is for France. Um, we'll pick this and then just type in whatever you want to call this. Will pop up as the variant name. So if you played the World DB, you would see. Save. Okay. So now, if we load up Procycle Manager, click play. Now, if we just want to start a quick race, uh, we'll go National Champs. This is with the World DB, so there are quite a few. Um, when you add it to your CM stages folder, though, it puts it into every single DB that you have. Okay, so there we go. There's our stage in all its glorious. Um, we'll just play with these guys. With AG2R. Um, but yeah, there's the profile. It's quite a weird looking mountain stage. <laughs> Looks like selling out of Vuelta. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, the more models you put in, the more uh, everything, basically, that you put in. Uh, by the way, if you see weird things down here, it's because I changed my local CDB. So don't be alarmed when you see stuff like DQing Sargon. Um, there you go. Uh, but yeah. Here's the stage. Where the team leaders and the climbers should show what they're made of. For the others, it's going to be a day of hard labor in order to reach the finishing line. Okay, thanks for rudely interrupting me there, commentator. But yeah, let's go. Uh I will probably just holy hell I made the stage hard. Um let's just get Bardé who's was following rumors. To a fully Guineas. DuPont can go on the break if he can get in the break. And yeah, so we'll just try and get through it. Um, Guineas, everyone can just slow up. Um, we'll cooperate in the break because we don't want to cooperate back here. The Peloton's sitting up. All the big teams must be in the break, so. That's good news for us, I guess. We're the best climber in here. Certainly looks like it. Um, so yeah, now we'll just start pacing. 60, uh, yeah, they just went through all the sections, but yeah, now we're in the forest. Just went through the roundabout. Here's another roundabout. Here's the really big roundabout. Obviously, if this was a real stage, I'd have my cities. I actually forgot to do that. Uh, I forgot to build my cities up. Yeah, that's my bad. Um, so, yeah, here we go. DuPont just has made up the little incline here that we made. Um, I believe this is part of the borders. It'll add these things onto the road. The rider names. Um... Go to here, can get water. Pellet, I'm in the break is six or oh, thirteen minutes. And nine riders. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to times eight until we get to the serious stuff. Yeah, you can see how bare this world is. There's a field that we made. If I press Alt and zoom out, you can see very, very bare bones. Um, like I said, just use the forest kind of thing when you want to. Here's the intermediate sprint, but it doesn't matter because it's a national champs. Um, where's my guy? Okay, Dupont. They're trying to pace him out.
Goshi is probably going to get dropped by doing that, but yeah, we're doing it. Um, no need to attack right now, but I'll do it. Holy hell, this is hard. Look at the percent. That is... I don't know if, even how that's allowed in the game. TBH. 14% if you look in the bottom corner. Even on 70, the rider's not regaining red. Which is unusual, to say the least. It's definitely going to come down to this group and who's the strongest. As we just saw before, should be my rider. But who knows? These are just some of the ridiculous stages you can make in PCM. Um, it, some other fun countries, if you just want to try a Gibraltar, um, you have the Rock of Gibraltar in the middle of the country, um, which is fun to look, make a little dirt trail kind of race around that. Um, you also have the, there's Bhutan and Nepal, both have Dem files, so you can make races through there. Yeah, I am hoping to be able to finish this as soon as possible, as I see the recording has been going on for nearly an hour. But I assume you've clicked off this video if you don't want to watch me win this. I am just going to pace 80 and go around the outside of everyone. I'm going to just try and put some distance between us and the other... Okay, I'll work. Oh, they don't want to work. He wants to work solo. I think we're just going to have to wait for the black bit up here. And then just launch our own attack. Oh, go to here, I can get water quickly. This group. The crew is riding away with it though, so I'm a bit worried. He doesn't have too much on us. Oh, we catch him. He goes straight past him. Here comes the finish line, and we'll give it a little sprint. And it worked. So, good job, commentators. It did work. But he rounds out the top 10. Okay, so yeah, that's my tutorial on basic stage making. Uh, I'll probably make some more tutorials like this. I did forget to show how to make a time trial, so I'll just quickly show that. Um, basically, where's the start? Uh, instead of putting down this here, you... Instead of that, you just click start time trial, and then you need a finish flat, uh, and then on the flat finish, you would click um, under category, there'll be one for team time trial or time trial, 
If you click the right one, then it'll work. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and see ya.